Deirdre Bosa, it sounds like right now we're at 85 miles an hour and nobody's taking their foot off the gas. <laughs> We are. We probably need to be going like 150 miles an hour to justify some of these valuations, but the momentum is there. Let me first give you the takeaway. The private Gen AI bubble, it does continue to inflate, but something else is going on, too. The darlings in the space, they're beginning to deliver more revenue, helping to justify those lofty valuations at ever higher rounds. According to a document that I viewed, Anthropic is telling investors that it is expecting a billion dollars in revenue this year. That would be an increase of more than 1,000% year over year. Now, the breakdown of it, which I also saw, that gives us a glance at how the Gen AI startup is making money. Third-party API is expected to make up the majority of sales, 60 to 75% of the total. That refers to the interfaces that allow external developers or third parties like Amazon's AWS to build and scale their own AI applications using Anthropic's models. That is by far its biggest business, with direct API sales a distant second projected to bring in 10 to 25 percent of revenue. Chatbots, that is its subscription revenue from Claude, that chatbot, that's expected to make up 15 percent of sales in 2024 at $150 million. Now, in terms of profitability, this document suggests that Anthropic, at least for now, has thinner margins than typical SaaS companies. The startup's expected aggregate gross margin this calendar year is 38 percent. That likely has to do with higher upfront costs like the need for GP which we know are expensive and they result in high infrastructure and operational expenses. Investors, though, especially in venture capital here, they're willing to look past those expenses if the top line is growing at a thousand plus percent better revenue growth that also helps those valuations look somewhat more reasonable. The information reported that Anthropic is in talks to raise another round at a 30 to $40 billion valuation with a billion dollars in projected sales this year. Its sales to valuation multiple would actually be lower than it was nine months ago. Same story for OpenAI and Scale.ai, two other darlings in the space, as they continue to reportedly grow revenue faster than their valuation increases. Now, to be sure, guys, these are projections. And one sp source that I spoke to voiced some skepticism that Anthropic will actually hit this target. But there could also be recurring revenue, better margins elsewhere in the Gen AI space. Scale.ai's founder and CEO, Alexander Wang, posting that his startup hit a billion dollars in ARR growth. That would be a four times increase year over year. Of course, these numbers are small compared to the mega caps, but what they do suggest, guys, is that these upstarts, they have momentum, and they're making inroads even against these powerful, well-capitalized incumbents. I wonder if—so so AI has the partnership and the investment with Microsoft, and it was always—Anthropic has a relationship with Amazon, right? Are, are, are all and these, Google. And Google. So I'm, I'm just wondering if those, get, if those get closer. You know, why can't— an anthropic be to a, an Amazon or a Google, what AI is to a Microsoft, you know? What open AI is to a Microsoft, open I think AI, that that's, yeah. that's, that's exactly it. And what this document that I saw really tells us is that the majority of that revenue is coming from that partnership. That's third-party APIs. I would imagine that Amazon's AWS uses or has a lion's share of that, right, because they have this partnership. They're developing their AI applications in the cloud using <clears throat> Anthropic's model. So that is still a big source of revenue. And you also have to wonder, right, a lot of these mega caps are looking at developing their own foundational models, maybe based on open source models. So is this revenue going to keep coming? And I think that's where some of the skepticism comes from as well. Can it continue to grow that top line through those third party sales if this whole space is becoming commoditized? Okay, Deirdre, still a lot of money going in, though. Thank you very much. There is.